Hi again, I'm Julie from Shenandoah Shabby. Um, and I'm doing the next video and painting a dresser with Annie Sloan chalk paint. Um, I have so far um, uh, prepped the piece, I put shellac on the entire piece. You see me do the top in graphite and I have um, clear, wax, clear waxed the top. Um, I did two coats on the top. The entire piece, the, the bottom of the piece and the drawers, I have painted in pure white and I did three coats of pure white. Um, and <clears throat> now I'm to the distressing and waxing part for the drawers and the, the base. Um, I actually already, I'm just doing a very light distressing on these. Um, so that's just bringing, um, taking some of the paint off and so you can see some of the wood peeking through. And all I've done for the drawers is take a 220 grit sandpaper and go ever so lightly around the edges. Um, the corners scuffed up a little bit more, the other edges there. Um, you know, you can go, you can definitely distress a lot more than this, um, but I'm just going for a, you know, lightly distressed look. I always, you know, whether I'm doing heavy distressing or light distressing, I always um, distress in the natural area. So I wouldn't, you know, start, start sanding in the middle of here or here because that's not naturally where it would where the paint would wear away uh, if there's any detail work I always distress over the detail work uh, but on this it's just gonna be you know right around the edges um, and on the, ba the the base of the piece it'll be on any of the details and around the edges so I've already done that and I've cleaned off that dust and now I'm gonna quickly wax this drawer um, again I use Annie Sloan um, the small Annie Sloan wax brush, which I really love. It helps to spread the wax um, really, really well. I used another one for a long time, and it was it was okay. But if you're painting a lot of, um, if you're waxing a lot of furniture, and I highly suggest this. It just goes on so so nicely. Um, it is really hot today in Virginia, and so my my wax. I'm doing this outside. My wax is nice and soft um, so I have no need to warm this up at all in the winter time um, I sometimes put a hair dryer on it for you know just just to, to warm it up to make it a little bit softer and easier to put on um, and I have my my blue shop towels ready to go which is what I'll use to pull the wax off on a drawer this size I might do this all in one go or maybe maybe two um, but again, I work quickly. Um, I have put wax from my clear wax container um, and I put it into this old container um, so that I don't contaminate um, my big container of clear wax. So I get a little bit on, I kind of squish it around so it's sort of evenly over the brush. You don't want any big clumps. Um, and, and here we go. It is going on so easily because it is warm outside. I will bring this drawer back inside. I'll probably do this whole this whole drawer because it's going on so easily. And then I'll I'll pull the excess off. Getting a couple little bristles. You just kind of poke it the opposite direction the bristle come up. You know, some people say it's like putting wax on is like, you know, rubbing lotion into your hand. You want it to get, you know, absorb into the paint. And I want to make sure I get this part up here too. I will not leave this drawer out here. <laughs> when I'm done, I'll bring it inside. When I'm done with the set of drawers, I'll bring, I'll bring them inside to dry. Okay. So I fold this into quarters so I can use all the sides. Just take the excess off again. This is not, um, you're not putting pressure on. 
have a little tiny speck there that I don't like. I might have to get that later. Let's see. If I can't get it off, then I'll, I'll touch it up with a little paint and some extra wax. Let me see without my glove if I can get this off. All of these steps after you paint, you know, distressing, waxing, it also gives you a chance to take a look at your paint job to see if there's, there's anything that needs to be fixed. Um, it's just the tiniest of little specks there, but it might be something I need to, to touch up later on. Now, I mean, again, no pressure at all. And it's, it's uh, running really smoothly now. Dragging just a tiny bit. I always get right underneath the edges, make sure, you know, you don't want somebody when they put their hand on there to feel um, like wax um, clumped up there. that is about it. Um, the wax, again, it, it will um, make the color a little bit richer. And if you go back and buff it 24 hours later, um, it can have, you know, can give it such a really beautiful um, sheen, which I love, which is, you know, that's one of the reasons I, I use wax is because I just love the look of the piece um, when it's been waxed. And that is it. Um, if you have any questions about waxing, let me know. It took me a while to get the hang of it, um, especially on sort of large services to try not to, to get it, to try to make sure it's not blotchy at all. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, um, Etsy, and YouTube. Um, if you like what you're seeing on these videos, you know, please like, like the video, share it, give it a thumbs up, and um, thanks for watching.